Now, I'm just going to start off like I always do with a renderer. And we'll press Alt and 2, which will just put it in a little box like that. Now, what I seem to do now is also create an inspector box. And press Alt 2 for that as well. And that just makes it easier to edit boxes and stuff. Okay, so just click on renderer. You see all that data comes up now. If you want it in full screen, just put it up to the max resolution and put everything up as high as it'll go. That box there just means you you can actually just see the front of the object rather than behind it as well, which just doesn't seem very clever. <laughs> Okay, we'll put a camera there. Now I'm going to do something which I was going to do the other day, which is just make a sun and the earth orbiting around it. So I'm just going to try and wing this tutorial here. So we'll just make a group, um, we're working with EX9 so we'll just create an EX9 group and we'll just put that in there. Okay, and just see if I've got any textures. Oh, it doesn't seem like I've got any textures. So, let's go on to Google and find some textures. Images and some texture. And let's go with this one. And we'll just save that to the desktop. And we also want an earth texture as well. Oh. Uh, which one should we go for? Where can we go for this one? Come on, load. Oh, there goes my phone. Never mind. Let's save that to desktop as well. Okay, and we'll get back onto here. And we'll just create bong um, directional. And we'll go there. Well, so let's create another group there. So we've got three there. We'll just call it light directional. That just shows us where the light is. So we can move it around like that. It'll show us that the light's pointing that way. Okay, so let's create a sphere. The X9 geometry, and we've got a sphere there with the light pointing towards it. And we'll just put that there. So the light that's from there is actually going into the data that's there. So it just makes it so it's the light's pointing to where it should be. Okay, so let's make that ten. Nope. Oh, <laughs> bit too big. Two. Okay, that's quite a big sum. And we'll just create another one. Just a bit smaller. Um, we'll create something called Transform 3D. We'll just put that in there. And that'll just maneuver it to where we want it. So if you translate X, you'll see it moves like that. Well, let's just Center X5. Okay, 
Now once you move that around it'll the centre is just in the middle of the other circle so then it'll just rotate around it. And we need to do file texture. So I'll put that in there. And we'll right click file name and, and hey, now we've got the sun. Now we can also do a transform to go onto the texture as well. So we can move it around and make it bigger and smaller. If we move that around, let's see whether. Oh. That looks okay. And we can also do file texture on here as well. Right click on that, desktop and world. I see you've got a little a little planet there. The transform. See it gets a bit crowded now. But although that seems to look oh. scale that down. I suppose that'll do for now. So you see we've got a little planet there. Now to make it actually orbit we'll need to put an LFO in it. And we can put that onto your. See that it just rotates around it. And we can make it a bit slower. And we can create another one to make it. Oh, That's rolling around. Although I don't think the Earth moves around quite like that. How you make a uh, planet? You can also move the light round to follow it as well. So if you take the light off the sun, then it'll just follow the Earth, and the Earth will just get light from that side. So I hope this has been interesting and maybe you can expand on this and add more planets and maybe create a massive solar system yourself. So I'll post some more videos up soon and I suppose I'm going to have to upload this one now as well. So I'll see you later.